I really wanted to create something that in a nutshell kind of stuck a middle finger up to you know um, trying to create an artwork that you know is either a gonna get you loads of money or b is just really really self-indulgent you know um, I wanted to take things back to basics I wanted to be um, real and honest and truthful with what it was that I was delivering when I did a few of these jamming sessions, I imagined to myself, you know, you know, improvisation is such an amazing thing. You can gather so much energy and, and channel so much energy as well. Um, what if the lights were turned out and you couldn't see your frets on the guitar, for example? What then? What would you, you know, what would you do? There was much more planning involved this time, you know, uh, meetings which were set up and, uh, you know, I gave as much information as possible to, to the other artists. We had a, a couple of um, rehearsal sessions at, um, at Sound Solutions uh, in Mayor Street. Every time we, we met up, I think we, the, the, the momentum just got, you know, stronger and stronger and um, we just played off of that really. I knew the people that I wanted to work with straight away and so when I contacted them, um, to be honest, I didn't really have any anyone as like a, a backup really or a plan B, and so fortunately they all um, you know they all agreed that they'd like to uh, participate. And I think one of the, uh, the the most special things that I found about the uh, the the show at the time was actually the the response or the amount of people who actually attended. You know, we had people queuing up to almost two hours just to get in and um, you know I mean that's the kind of thing that you know you do for you know paid gigs and that kind of thing so it was just great to be able to you know share this idea with with people and even you know with once you know being in this dark space and your eyes kind of adapt to the darkness you can notice people with silhouettes and to to notice these silhouettes dancing um, you know uh, bump, bopping out to you know the tracks and even just lying down and taking in those grooves was was really special The reason why I announced that it would be, you know, the last of its kind was because um, I, I acknowledge as, a, as an artist that it, it can become very tempting to repeat an idea time and time again, um, especially a successful one, you know, and, um, and to be honest, I, I didn't want to sell the idea short. It, it always started and ended with the, uh, the, the, the strength and the beauty of, of, of this idea and I wanted to keep that pure. And I think, you know, for example, if, you know, there was like a jam in the dark like every month or, or even twice a year or, you know, you know, it, what would happen, I think, over time is it would, it would just, it would be corrupted or it would uh, morph into something that, that didn't reflect the original idea. So it's definitely the last of its kind. Um, that's not to say that I haven't, you know, thought of uh, uh, variations of, of ideas which may be similar to the Jam in the Dark. But as it stood in the way that, you know, it was it was uh, presented and performed, um, that will be the last of its kind. Yeah.